Okay, this is liquid chlorine. It's probably the weakest chlorine that you can actually buy at the store. It's 12% chlor active chlorine. And if you don't have conditioner in your water, it'll probably disappear within about three or four hours from your pool. So make sure your conditioner level is good. And I prefer getting the chlorine from a pool store because they seem to rotate their stock a lot better than at Walmart or Home Depot type stores. And the chlorine there is a lot weaker. Be careful you don't splash any of this on your clothes because it will make holes in it. You want to pour it into your pool while the pool's on. You want to try to pour it in early in the morning when the sun is not out. So today is a perfect day to pour the chlorine in the pool. As you're pouring the chlorine in the pool, the sun will actually destroy it as it's being poured, believe it or not. That's how strong the sun's UV rays are, that when you're actually pouring the chlorine into the pool, it'll actually weaken it. So we want to pour it really close, as low as we can, around the perimeter of the pool. And again, stay as low as possible. That way it doesn't get hit by the sun or any, it won't dissipate. And chlorine has a high pH of 8.0 or above, so it will raise your alkalinity and your pH up if you use it. And it's also very effective to clear up cloudy water quickly because it is a very fast acting chlorine since it is in a liquid flow form. So it's very effective in raising your chlorine level up. This one here is actually at 1.0 and putting a gallon of liquid chlorine will quickly raise it up to 5.0 um, very quickly to shock the pool and to get it ready for heavy usage. And a good rule of thumb is to wait at least three hours before swimming after adding any chlorine or acid or any kind of chlorine chemical to your pool.